You might have heard people talking about five pentatonic shapes before that can help you with your bass playing. But there are loads of concepts out there, so it's difficult sometimes to work out um, whether they're worth learning or whether you should concentrate on other stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna look at these five pentatonic shapes. I'm gonna show you how to play them. I'm also gonna discuss um, if it's useful to learn them and what you can use them for as well. I've put all the fretboard shapes from this lesson on a free PDF. You can get that by clicking the link below this video in the description. And also some of the licks that I'll play in this lesson, I've put on that PDF too. It's in standard notation and tab. <laughs> So let's get started with the lesson. We're gonna look at the major pentatonic scale. Now there are actually 10 shapes, um, if we include all the shapes for the minor pentatonic, but we're gonna focus on the major pentatonic and we'll look at the minor pentatonic in another lesson. But watch this video to the end because I'm gonna give you a trick um, that can help you um, to play the major shapes when you have the minor pentatonic. Penta means five, and tonic is just the main note of the scale or the chord. So if we have a G chord, the tonic's G, sometimes called the root note as well. So pentatonic scale just means a five note scale. We're gonna use G major pentatonic scale for this video. We're gonna start one octave, okay? So five notes starting from G. We've got this shape here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We can play the G on the top, which will give us six notes, but obviously we've got G there and G there, it's the same note, okay? Now there is one other way to play this, which is like this. Okay, that's the more kind of traditional way to play it, but this makes more sense when we're looking at the five shapes, okay? Um, so get this shape down first. You can do the scale if you want, playing the G and going back down. Okay, that's the first shape. Now we get all our other shapes from the scale. Okay, we just, um, what we do is to get shape two, we start on the second note of the G pentatonic scale. So we're just using these notes. Okay, for all the five shapes, we're using G, A, B, C, and D. Okay, so for the second shape, we're just starting on A and playing five notes of the G pentatonic scale. The third shape, we're starting on B and playing the five notes of the G pentatonic scale. Okay, get this shape here. Okay, so that's the five shapes. All right, I'll do that again. So shape one, shape two, shape three, shape four, and shape five. So all these shapes use just those five notes from the G major pentatonic scale. When we start on A, we don't play the A pentatonic. We're just playing the same notes from the G pentatonic, okay? So all of these shapes use just the notes from the G major pentatonic scale. So how are these shapes useful to us? Well, um, if we wanna play some licks and some fills, if we start on the bottom and just run up the scale, it sounds a bit boring, okay? So it gives us some options to kind of have a better sounding and a hipper sounding kind of feel. For example, if we started on the fourth shape, which is this, we could do something like this. Okay, we could do a feel like that. Um, if we're kind of sort of funking on the G chord, Okay, we just, I just kind of targeted that shape there. I just used the five notes from the fourth shape. Um, we can just do different fills, okay? Okay, that just uses the fifth shape. Okay, so we can use these um, shapes just to come up with fills and with licks. A really good tip here is just don't start your fills and your licks on the root note, okay? If you think about a melody, often that's not gonna start on the root note. Um, it's more interesting, okay, more melodic, as we call it, if you start on another interval. So that's all we're doing. Uh, when we're starting on these different shapes, these are sometimes called inversions, because we're starting on another note other than the root note, okay? So these five shapes are obviously really useful, so much so that I made up an exercise once um, on these shapes, okay? If you just click here, you'll get that exercise. It will help you to work out the pentatonic scale and these shapes. 
but I think it's a long-winded way of thinking about it. I think a better approach is to play the pentatonic scale across the whole fretboard, maybe play it two octaves. So when you're playing two octaves, you're just getting the scale and stacking two of them on top of each other like this. Okay, so we're just playing. And then another G pentatonic. Right up to there, okay? So you've got from your low G there up to the high G on the 12th fret of the G string. You've got a much bigger area. Then you can kind of use all of those notes or you can choose from those notes, okay? So you're not kind of restricted to these small shapes. You can be much more lyrical. You can um, have some more space. You can kind of start where you want uh, and you've got a wider range of the fretboard to use. So first of all, I just suggest that you practice the two octave G major pentatonic scale. Okay, you just, you just have to kind of really work out uh, where you need to shift. Uh, remember, I've put that on the PDF, so um, pause the video now and make sure that you can play the two octave G pentatonic scale. I'm now going to fire up a backing track that's just a G chord, a static G chord, um, so I can show you how to kind of use parts of this scale to come up with some licks. All right, these all of these just use the notes from the G pentatonic scale. So have a listen to those and look where I'm kind of playing them um, and see if you can spot parts of the scale there with the note choices that I'm using. So there were just some different ideas, some different feels. I've put them all on the free PDF, by the way. Um, try those yourself. You can also get a copy of this backing track where I've looped it round and round. The link's below this video. Um, that's really useful for just trying out different ideas yourself as well. So to summarize, do I think it's worth learning the five shapes? Yeah, well I do actually, um, but I think it's more beneficial to have the two octave scales, okay? The extended scales, um, because that gives you kind of loads more options and you don't really have to just remember these particular shapes, okay? At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that there are another five shapes for the minor pentatonic scale. Well, I'm just gonna give you a little kind of trick here. Um, if you're in a minor key, you can find the relative major key and play that pentatonic scale, that major pentatonic scale. So if we're in um, G minor, okay, all you need to do is go up three frets, one, two, three, and we get B flat. So if you're in the key of G minor, you can play B flat major pentatonic scale. And all the shapes, okay, all the five shapes from B flat, they're the same notes as G minor, okay, because they're relative keys, all right? So if you're in a minor key, say you're in C minor, okay, one, two, three, E flat, you can play E flat major pentatonic and all those shapes and it will work really well, okay? So that's a, a kind of simple trick, but at some point I will make a video on the minor pentatonic shapes. So now I suggest that you work on these shapes, work on the two octave um, scale as well, and then just play through these licks and see if you can come up with some ideas yourself and play those to the backing track. Thanks for joining me in this video today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking the image on this screen. And also, if you want to join a, a thriving community of like-minded bass players um, with monthly content and a practice area and a community area, then join my GBS Bass Masters membership. So you can click the image on this screen or you can find um, more details on the link below this video. This is Greg from Greg's Bass Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next video.